Welcome, Greg Hayes, to KHTS. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Yeah, the last time I was on with you, it was Gilligan's Island Musical. You and in which you played the professor, and it was just thank you. And it was just a darling production, darling, darling, darling. Um, so here we are talking about how you've authored. Now I'm because I'm reading your bio. I had no idea you've already authored a few books, and now you have a brand new book. It's called Finding grandma uh what what is finding grandma about is it is it a uh, is it a novel is it nonfiction? What, what are we talking about you know it's nonfiction, but you talk about musicals so what inspired me i went i saw hamilton which was amazing a gift from a former student's parents and they took me and it was incredible and at the end it's my favorite part when Liza hamilton sings and she sings and when my time is up have i done enough will they tell my story will they tell your story who lives, who dies, who tells your story. And that became really applicable to my grandmother, who I knew nothing about. And my dad knew nothing really either because she died basically in childbirth, uh, giving birth to him, and nobody knew anything about her. So he had a picture on his dresser every day of my life, and it was just kind of this expression of his picture. And I thought, well, that's dad's mom. That was the only way I thought of her. And I saw a movie this summer. It was about a guy whose mom died in childbirth. I thought, okay, that's what dad went through. And then I went, wait a minute. That's my grandmother. I have avoided my own life. I've never known anything about my grandmother. So I said, you know what? I'm going to tell her story when I had little clues and a little to go by. And so that's what it's about. So a little bit about your grandma. Um, She was now because I, I have your bio here she apparently had 1924 what was her claim to fame okay so my grandfather actually he graduated from the naval academy and a lot of the book is about the academy back then which is kind of fun and he was also a boxer was on the olympic boxing team in 1924 the famous cherry of fire olympics in paris and he's the first boxing champion in the history of collegiate athletics which is kind of cool too which i learned because I learned so much about him when I tried to learn about my grandmother. But he was the head of the fifth company, and the fifth company won the honor for being the, the color company, the best company there at the Naval Academy. Mm-hmm. And in the spring, there's, they present the colors, the regimental colors. And uh, there's a ceremony that you pick one of the, the ladies to be the color girl, and that's a huge, huge honor. And she presents the colors. So he chooses his girlfriend, you know, my grandmother, and they have this long kiss. It's supposed to be this short embrace, short kiss, and he's bet he can't do it for more than a minute. So he kisses her for a super, super, super long time, and that becomes part of Naval Academy folklore stories from then on, and that's my grandparents. That's That's actually fantastic. How do you start a project like this with so little information? You have just like a picture and maybe a story or two. How do you how do you even proceed with something like this? You know, mainly I have the story of the kiss, so I kind of started with that. But you're right. I you know you kind of pray about it. you talk about people and you, you search for what you've got. There was a breakthrough when I found a census, 1920 census information, and it was like, whoa, there she is. It was different than anything I've heard before. And then you see pictures which you didn't know about. And then you learn more about him, and you learn about the background of the time and the Naval Academy. But the kicker, the real breakthrough, was when I discovered there were letters that they wrote each other when he was away at sea. And that's where I discovered her. That's where I really learned about her. And sometimes, at first, I was like, I don't know if I want to read these, because what if they're like, ooh, I don't like these guys. They're like, (laughs) you know, they didn't love each other much anyway. But it was the opposite. It Uh was more than I could have hoped for. And she just became alive because it was her own words. And the more I read them, it was like, I could almost hear her say them. And then when you colorize the old black and white pictures, it's like, oh, my goodness, this could be like today. And they just became so alive. But the letters were the key. And I just felt like I got to know her. And she was amazing. And honestly, I fell in love with her. My grandmother on top of the dresser that I saw my whole life. That has, it, looking back at that picture now, it doesn't reflect anything, I guess, now that, now that you know all about her. It's so true. In fact, what I found out was the picture was taken because he's away at sea. So they would have pictures taken of each other. And most of them were, were this, I mean, she had a big smile. She was very, had very, a lot of expression. And 
a very loving person. Again, a great smile. And it's like, okay, this picture is not her. So whatever pose they decided back in the 1920s, if that's how you did that, that's what she sent to him. But it's not her, because you can tell by the candid pictures and the pictures of them. There's one of them where they're looking at each other like, oh, my goodness, you guys are so romantic. They, they loved each other so much, which was really cool, which also made it harder when she died in childbirth. Um, I mean, he married two more times and lost two more wives to death, but he never really ever got over her. I mean, he's 22, and he's got a little baby, and he's, the love of his life, who he truly, truly loved, is gone. And so it you know, made me understand him a lot more, too, what he went through, and my dad's loss as well. What a wonderful way to uh, to to kind of uh, you know represent your grandmother by doing this, and and your grandfather too. I mean, it, honestly, uh, what a beautiful story they had, and a wonderful um, story that she had, and who she was, and who they were together. How do we get a copy of this? Well, thank you, and I would I would say to support what you just said. If nobody bought the book, it would be one of the greatest experiences of my life writing it to get to know them, especially her. But, as mentioned, as you mentioned that, thank you, it is on Amazon in Kindle form and um, in paperback. Um, and it's also, will soon be out on Barnes & Noble. And if you ever see me, it'll probably be in the trunk of my car also. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it. Keeping it real. Keeping it real, Greg. Keeping it real. Finding Grandma from, with Greg Hayes. Um, fantastic interview. Thank you so much for letting us into your uh, life, your, your grandparents, your grandma, especially.